we have all had our fair share of the marriage contract true the two people reluctantly enter into a forced or arranged marriage there are various reasons that make the characters want to fake a relationship including getting on an inheritance parental pressure and keeping up appearances the benefit for us viewers are forced friendship cohabiting hijinks the inevitable falling in love and perhaps even permanent relationships though it's been tried and tested too one many times there's just something about this cliche formula that we can't get enough of especially when it comes in form of japanese drama here are a list of 10 forced fake arranged marriages in japanese dramas Number 1 Chennai Marriage Honey Amy heartbroken from her recent breakup finds a man on a dating app who's looking to marry someone ASAP so she agrees to marry him immediately however they will soon realize that they actually work in the same company so they decide to keep their marriage a secret Chennai Marriage Honey is an adorable drama it's light short and easy to watch the story is presented in a fast almost hectic pace as the romance starts straight from the first episode still the drama kept things interesting and fresh till the very ending number 2 happy marriage happy marriage dean fujioka stars as an elite businessman hokuto who meets a young woman chiba working as a hostess part to pay off her parents debt while the initial encounter causes chiba to be fired from the club the next day she is summoned to meet hokuto again where he suddenly proposes to her a marriage of convenience proposal can the couple find love in a purely business like marriage contract fun romance with believable characters and acting chiva is especially likable finally a decent show with the quirks and mistakes that come with a first time romance be prepared to laugh cry sigh and just enjoy yourself number 3 from 9 to 5 sakura ba janko An English language school teacher has no boyfriend even before her 29th birthday and dreams of working in New York. But one day she encounters a handsome monk in the worst moment when she attends a funeral service at a temple. Because of numbness in her legs, she grabs the altar and ends up emptying the ash from the burning incense on him while he is chanting the sutra. Although a rueful Janko thinks they will probably not meet again, she is deceived by her family and made to go for a matchmaking session. The other party is none other than the monk Hoshikawa Takei. In the beginning of the story from 5 to 9, it is a kind of a quirky and cute but still funny. When you gradually grow through the episodes, you would understand each character much more than you observe in the first episode. Overall, the storyline is excellent and has a mixed comedy with romantic scenes. Number 4, Marry Me. The story follows 28-year-old civil servant Akiya Sushin. as he's chosen to take part in a new government program under the so-called need protection law this project pays government employees with needs as a means to rehabilitate them and reintroduce them into the society problem is his chosen partner sawamoto himari was signed up without her knowledge will akia sushin end up winning her over or will this arranged marriage be a bust number 5 nigeru wa haji daga yakuni tatsu 25-year-old Moriyama Mikuri graduated but had no job offers. She became a temporary employee but was even laid off. So, while she is taking a break right now, Mikuri feels unwanted and displaced. She starts working as a housekeeper for bachelor Suzaki Hiramasa by chance. One day, he proposes a contract marriage to her. The two of them get married in a secret, but will their married life work out? This series is a very entertaining series that will keep the viewers attention throughout its short 11 episode run with lots of funny and charming moments, interesting characters and a different view about family and housework. Number 6, You are my destiny. Sato Aya is known in her company as the sticky woman since she's covered in post-it notes detailing tasks she must complete for others. 
while she is being taken advantage of she never complains this ordinary office worker ends up making ichi choke the young successor of a large corporation he is somewhat eager to marry as his grandmother the chairman feels an heir is required destiny plays with k and aya's faith allowing them to meet in an unexpected situation and things get complicated really quickly number 7 takin to hana after her older sister refuses to go to an arranged marriage meeting with takin saibara the heir to a vast business fortune high schooler hana nomura agrees to be her stand-in to save face for the family but what happens when hana meets takin is an unexpected pairing of utter opposites number 8 Watashita chi wa douka shiteru A young girl whose father was framed for murder gets close to the man who framed him but not only does she discover a deep mystery over the event but she starts to fall in love with him Number 9 Toshi no Sakon Maiko is 24 year old and she has never had a boyfriend before One day with her father's recommendation she has a meeting with Harumi about marriage He is a 44 year old and divorced man Although Maiko is less than thrilled, she discovers when they meet that he is a charming man with an air of maturity, and she instinctively makes a move on him. Harumi does not really want to meet Maiko about marriage, but he is unable to say no to her father, who is an important client. He thinks that he will just say no to her during the first meeting, but he becomes attracted to her. On their third date, she gives him paperwork to register for marriage. Harumi and Maiko marry, and their marriage life. with a 20 year age gap begins number 10 kekon aite wa chosen day due to the nation's low birth rate and aging population the japanese government implements a new policy the new policy requires single men and women from the age of 25 to 30 to go on government planned blind dates each person can say no two times if they do not like their partners if they say no for the third time then they have to serve two years of an anti terrorism activity support team tatsuiko miyasaki is a 26 year old single man and he works as a systems engineer he lives in tokyo alone due to the trauma from his middle school days he does not trust people and he has a fear of germs meanwhile Nana Fuyumara is a beautiful single woman and works at a radio broadcasting station. She lives with her family in Tokyo. Tachiko Miyasaka and Nana Fuyumara meet at a government mandated blind date. I hope you enjoy our recommendations. Please let us know your favorite marriage trope in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like, share and subscribe.